Bitches more Nike They looking for a check What's up guys, I am back with another video. As you can see from the looks of it, I will be showing you guys how to do a retwist. Now this is a very different video from all the other videos on my channel. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And just let me know if this is something you guys are interested in seeing more of. So before we begin guys, I just want to let you know that I am in no way, shape, or form a hairstylist by any means, loctician, anything like that. But first we will begin with a little bit of moisturizing. So I like to use the Palmer's Coconut Oil Leave-In Conditioner. Now I've tried out many um, leave-in conditioners and this is one of the ones that I actually enjoy. I think that a lot of leave-in conditions leave a cast over your dreads, but this one doesn't, and it still gives me a little bit of moisture, so I like to use this one. Now, in this container that I'm shaking up is olive oil and water. Um, it's just in the same container. I had an old container of that coconut oil spray, but um, it's olive oil and water. And now I'm going to put in my mango and lime castor oil. Hey. So now what I like to do is section off the back of my hair. So I pull all my hair to the front in a ponytail. And I like to work semi-sections, but not really. Uh, I start with the back section and then I just kind of work my way gradually up. So throughout the video, you will see how I do that. Now, what you want to do is make sure that you are twisting all of your hair in the same direction. Um, if you do not twist it in the same direction, you twist it in the opposite direction, from which your dreads are being twisted you know if you get them done or if you do them yourself they will begin to break off so you want to make sure that you are tw twisting them in the same direction Don't be afraid to um, kind of pull them apart. I think this is a very painful process, so I would prefer to pull them apart myself than have like hairstylists and stuff pull them apart. But I think it's very important that you do pull them apart because you don't want them to get matted together. Especially in this video, I think I was about three to four months from a retwist. So I hadn't had a retwist in about three or four months. And sometimes they get a little stuck together, so you want to just make sure that you're keeping them um, divided and you don't have any clumps of dreads or anything that's not supposed to be together.
now that we are at the front of my head, I like to go in and use my, I call it the feed in braid um, edge control, but I like to use the beeswax um, edge control. The beeswax edge wax is what it's called. Um, the one that I have is the extreme hold. It doesn't really matter which one you get. There's one in a yellow container, which is the one I usually get, but the store didn't have anymore. Um, it doesn't make quite a difference. They both work the same to me. I guess this one just, air quotes, has extra, extra, um, holds, but it doesn't hold any more than that one. So, um, I have a little bit of breakage on my edge dredge for some reason on both of them. So we're working on trying to like build that back up, but I have to use a good bit of the edge wax just to kind of pull it together to make sure that I catch all those hairs. Now I do use it, um, all the way across the front, but I don't use it as heavy as I do on the edge ones just because those shirts are so big. <laughs> I did not put on camera, but I sat on the dryer for a little minute. I didn't sit under for very, very long, but I had the clamps in for about two days. <laughs> I mean, I had the clamps in for a good little minute, so I didn't need to sit on the dryer for too, too long because it kind of air dried at that point. Um, for the most part, for me, my the, the actual scalp of the dread dries pretty fast. It's just my ends take a little minute, so most times I have to sit on the dryer to kind of dry my ends. Um, after that, I went back in with a little bit more of my leave-in conditioner and um, some more serums. I like to put uh, these different serums in just to kind of seal in that leave-in conditioner and also give me a little bit of shine. And after that, I am good to go. But if you guys like what you saw, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. I will have weekly uploads or at least try. <laughs> but um, make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe.